Hello and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw the end, the end elevation of the first room of the cylinder. So if you have to draw the end the, uh, elevation of the first room of the cylinder, so how do you go about it? So that's what I'm going to be putting you through in this video. So if you are yet subscribed to PA Academy, uh, please click on the subscribe button. Uh, so at the time of creating this video, I'm looking forward to reaching my first 1,000 subscribers. So please click on the subscribe button right now to subscribe to this channel. Also click on the little bell icon to subscribe to this channel uh, to get notified so when I release a new video. Alright, so thank you very much if you have just subscribed. So if you have done that, do let me know in the comments below section. Just comment, I've subscribed. So if you are here to, please just take your time to click on subscribe button to subscribe to PA Academy. Alright, now, so let's get into this video. So to start with, we are going to be drawing our circle. So I'm going to be using a circle with a radius of, um, of 2 cm. So I've measured uh, the compass already to be 2 cm. So I'll just go ahead and draw the circle. So the next thing is to divide this circle into 12 equal parts. So there's a video that, is, uh, that I did that explains how to divide a circle into 12 equal parts. So if you check uh, uh, the playlist on technical drawing, you'll find a video. So you can either use your protractor or you use your compass. So whichever method that is convenient for you. So let me go ahead and divide this circle into 12 equal parts using my, uh, my protractor. So I'm just going to be measuring 30 degrees apart. And I'll draw a line through the center. So at 30 degrees apart. So you need to be careful when you are doing this so you don't make some unnecessary errors. So now I've done with the division of the circle into traffic of parts. So the next thing is to project the lines vertically. So in the course of this video, I want you to just the note uh, to pay attention to some of the points that I'll be drawing some uh, projecting some lines. It's very important. So these lines from this also, from this point and from this point also, I'm going to be projecting this line uh, vertically. And they have to be parallel to each other. Alright, so now I'll draw. So now we're projecting some horizontal line. So now let's call this line AB. 
So the lines that I've just projected from this circle, that where it's touching this line AB, from that point, I'll be drawing it horizontally towards this side. So now I'll be bringing my protractor again. So from this point, I'll be bringing, drawing a line at an angle of 45 degrees. So like I said, there are going to be a lot of projections in this, in getting this done. So you have to be very careful so that at the end of the day, we'll be having a, you know, neat diagram and then getting the results that we want. So also, we are going to be doing some horizontal projection, does the same way we did the vertical, but right now we are doing the horizontal. So I'll pause the video and so I'll to save time. So I'll project the horizontal line to touch this line that we drew at angle of 45 degrees from this point. So when, where it's touching this, we are going to project it upward. So from this point, we are going to make it a vertical projection again. So make sure they are parallel. So we're going to be having something like this. All right, so. So you can see this, I'm using it, um, a thick line. So the next thing is we are going to be joining these points. Okay. Uh, all right. So these points. So the the point of intersection here. 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 Okay. So it still remain one more line from this point. So from this point, so at this point that I'm noting, we are going to join them together with the help of our French curve, or whichever means that is convenient to you or that you are familiar with. So we are going to be joining those points together. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring in my French curve to join um, those points together using my French curve. So let me go ahead and do that. So, so now it's to join these three points and those points together. So, so that is it. So that's how to draw the end elevation of the first room of the cylinder. So I hope you find this video helpful. Um, so if you're having any challenge with this video, just watch it again. I believe you'll be able to get along with it. Or you, if you have any question, any comment with regards to this video, uh, just leave them in the comment section below. And if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you are yet subscribed to PA Academy, please subscribe to our channel PA Academy. Just click on the subscribe button. You can also check our playlist on technical drawing. There are a lot of videos there that will help you, especially if you are a beginner in technical drawing or engineering drawing and drawing like this. I believe you'll find a lot of there are a lot of videos there that will be of help to you. You can also visit our website paacademy.co or paacademy.co. So with that guys, I'll see you all in another video. Thank you very much.